Hello everyone, welcome to the Cloud Network. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you about the shell scripting. Uh, this is your uh, lab two about understanding the basic concept ab uh, about the shell scripting that we use in uh, Linux operating system. You can also use this or uh, Ubuntu, Fedora, CentOS, also Linux Mint. Also, you can use the same method, the same procedure. You can you need to follow that. I'm going to show you. And this is a programming shell two. Uh, P two is nothing but this is a part two, which I'm making a video on it. And so let us begin. You can also do configure and install this same thing you, you can do and this OS also. So let us begin with the first one. Uh, so before uh, starting the script, you should be uh, remember about, about this process of writing and executing, executing a script. So you need to open the terminal. After that, uh, you need to navigate to the place where you want to create a script. So that means CD home. That means you if you want to create a script uh, somewhere else, not it. You need to navigate there, like in home, desktop, uh, document pictures, anywhere in slash files, slash VTP, etc. Wherever you want to, just need to go to slash CD and you need to find the user which you have created. Then you need to go to CD enter. This will bring the prompt at your home directory. In that, whatever the user you have created in the home directory, it will be. Uh, when you tap the CD and it will go to your home directory there you can create a script and execute so after that we need to give a, f a script name like what whatever the script name we are giving you can give a script name with a touch touch is uh, nothing but using for to give a name here so you can just give a touch and after that space you need to give any fine name whatever you want to give for giving a script a name so this is the hello is nothing but I am giving a script name dot sh is for your extension which is give compulsory we need to go to run the ex uh, script so that is the purpose we you touch and after that vi is to edit the file of your script to edit you want to edit the script means you can edit in nano also and you can edit vi also so after editing with the, with the file name you need to edit first of all in the fourth step we are going to give a, a script name after that in the fifth uh, fifth step we are going to edit the script name so after using a favorite editor so six one is the permission we want to give it so the file so just we need to give the ch mode triple uh, either you can give seven double four or seven double five or triple seven is a full permission to give a script so after that giving the permissions uh, the last one is to run that script so either you can run with the sh script name or you can give dot slash home script name so this is your uh, five seven step is there to remember your uh, writing and executing a script so now i'm going to create a uh, first uh, writing a special pattern like i'm going to show you about drawing a special pattern in the script one so this is your bash one where i'm going to uh, type in the script file and after that is the maximum no which is and echo numbers 5 to 9 which i am giving uh, after that i am going to re read the max number maximum number this is your so set this if else or uh, echo wt to ask any number between 5 to 9 that is is going to be set the numbers you can set any number from 5 to 9 as if you as you wish you can give any number after that you going to exit the first uh, we echo then we go to if and clear then i'm going to for development max do then echo and done so after that for echo done this is the second stage then i'm going to write in the same script only then continue the script all procedure we i'm going to uh, type it and we uh, going to check this completely drawing special pattern is going to show so now let us uh, begin with the uh, drawing pattern skip uh, pattern special pattern drawing that is i will show you so my friend this is my uh centos linux 7 which i am using and i'm going to connect it with the putty so i am going to run and I need to uh, type the ip address of my centos system uh, to view the ip address of this your sense uh, centos or any system ip address and i'm going to show you how to check the ip address means just you need to log in with the username here and give the password after that you need to type ip address give hyphen grab type and you type int in press enter so you can see on the screen this is my ip address is showing which is i'm going to connect with that ip address so i have been connecting so and 
I'm going to type root. Okay. So I have been logging with the CentOS. Now I'm going to create a new drawing pattern here. First of all, I'm giving a touch the file name. I've been giving a new like dot sh. Like I'm giving a drawing. Drawing. Okay. Dot sh to execute our script. We need to compulsory. We need to give to press enter. After we need to give vi and the di draw, drawing name. Press a tab to get a full command. After that, you need to edit. And here we need to write here uh, press i to edit this uh, file. Edit. So just give here hash semicolon bin slash bin slash bash. Press enter. So you need to give a max. Then you need to give is equal to n no. So, so after that you need to type echo enter number written 529 press enter so after writing this whole script uh, then what you have to do is you need to press a escape here uh, and then you need to type semicolon wq to save the file and quit it should be small letter press enter that has been saved now i'm giving the permission to that file 744 or else you can give 7 uh, double five also you can give then you need to give a file name drawing like press enter after that to run the file search as well you can run or also from dot slash drawing also can run. press enter and showing press enter from number between five to nine so i'm going to press six here so you can see this drawing line syntax error after that uh, i'm going to create a second script called creating colorful script so in that one uh, i'm going to uh, edit the uh, uh, in the in that part i'm going to uh, write this all those uh, bin bash clear echo blink so for creating different colors will come uh, in this script uh, and hello world will come with a red color output and uh, you can see green every color you will find in this scripts how to set the colors echo and you want to give to the hello world back normal so all these things uh, you can do it now i'm going to uh, create a file with the color name dot sh now i'm going to edit that color file dot sh and that one i'm going to uh, write this script so after writing this script come completely uh, scroll down to check every so now i'm going to save this file escaped here and semicolon wq to save the file so after that setting the permission 7 uh, double try to the color okay press enter now i'm going to run this color now i'm going to run the third script which is called anycraft and a file or a directory if you want to anycraft the file or directory so first of all i'm going to install this penny and uh, entry G, G, ui graphical user interface for this command you can install for this uh, uh, linux purpose you need to type apt hyphen for lan for ubuntu purpose you need to type apt hyphen get for linux yum install and for this i'm going to create a uh, touch file name and then editing and that one i'm going to add this uh, bash line uh, script line so after that i am going to save it and run it so just install yum install pin entry hyphen ui that means graphical interface is going to be installed so now it's going to be downloading so installing the pen entry gd now i'm going to clear this one install now i'm going to touch the file en dot sh after that edit the file and i'm going to, so after that save wq and then give permission seven triple seven uh triple seven give cs mod triple seven uh, as a full permission i'm giving to any craft Okay, now we run the encrypt. 
so we need to give exact file system uh, extension like the game program program dot sh so now i have been unencrypted with the file so just to run slash anycrypt present give the script name like i am just now uh, we have created a color dot sh present uh, actually before running the file type ls to check uh, our any crypt dot uh, file so here we need to type any crypt okay, press enter now we need to give here uh, file name like i am giving hello dot uh, sh we create so here we need to give the phrase enter the phrase like i am giving the one two three and press type ok so we need to repeat that press press so that has been the file now been encrypted ok now i am going to create a, another fourth script that is called checking server utilization for that one this is the file we need to uh, edit and write the bash date and we need to give a time here and currently connected to and then we need to give a Go who's last login and how many users have been logged in disk users memory users and space ram and everything startup logouts errors whatever the message we got error during these servers all those things i am going to be uh, given one script and be limited size also not clear this one type touch give server dot sh after that you need to edit this server dot sh uh, here i am going to so after uh, writing this uh, script uh, in that server dot sh uh, need to save the file escape type uh, press escape wq to save the file and exit uh, give the permission here seven double five is the permission i am giving and then you need to give a file name here so which want to give the permission after giving the permission we want to run this file dot slash server press enter so you can see on your screen this is uptime and uh, cpu utilization and disk space everything is showing up here so you can check here what are the perks you want to see here after that we need to uh, remember this one greater the redirection operation uh, operator uses a file creation effort it does not exit the contain our overwritens greater than two symbols are uses for adding the information rather than replacing is safe compared to single greater than after that uh, i am going to create a fifth uh, this is the fifth and last script to check the disk spaces and send the email alerts to our uh, server which was the user so maximum is five uh, is nothing but we choose maximum users 95 and email id is nothing but you need to give your email id company email id or person email id or something so part sda which hard disk you use sda or uh, sata or hd sda or hd also user dfn disk space dh means nothing but is showing this uh, disk space is, is going to be show path and print of cuts up is your uh, using the information you, you use this maximum then settings is uh, running out of this space this is your email alert is going to be uh, configured if else nothing but is going to be so let us begin now this one so we need to clean this one i am going to touch touch and uh, i am going to give here uh, alarms like dot sh here you need to edit alarms file so in place of uh, email id uh, just give your uh, email id company in place of user you need to give your company email id or any email id you can give escape save this file uh, give permission seven double five and give a alarms for research now i'm going to run this so thank you for watching my video for the second uh, part of this my shell scripting video 
प्लीज शेयर माय वीडियो एंड लाइक अस एंड कमेंट इफ यू हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग अंटी गार्डन वीडियो